please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back, Chargers. Hope everyone had a great first day of school. I'm Chris. And I'm Becca. And while DP News hasn't officially started, we have a quick update for today. Here's a quick announcement from our very own Principal Woodard. Good morning, Dose Pueblos. Happy day two. It's your Principal, Mr. Woodard, here with some announcements and things to help you uh, and the day go more smoothly. Hope you're having a great start to the year. We're very excited to have you back. So here are some updates. Uh, I know lunch yesterday was kind of a challenge. We had some issues that we will have fixed today. Please know that there will be at least three carts dispersed around campus at the start of lunch that will have uh, the grab and go free meals for anybody who wants one. There are vegetarian options at each cart. So make sure if you want a veggie meal, you ask the person at the cart. Uh, there will also be a la carte purchases that you can make for chips and water uh, from another one of the carts and by the student store. Uh, most people did a great job yesterday throwing their trash away, but for all our students, as a reminder, it is the DP expectation that we do not leave trash for somebody else to deal with. Please throw all of your trash in the trash cans and leave your area as clean as you found it. Um, this week, some counseling updates. Uh, first of all, this is the last week, or this is the only week to request a, a class change. It is done by a petition. We can't make every change happen, but if you want to uh, request a class change, you would see the, uh, come to the counseling office and get, pick up a petition and submit it to your counselor ASAP. You can always ob obviously email your counselor if you have a question as well. Um, as far as if your schedule says see counselor on it, during the period where you see see counselor, please come to the, uh, the counseling office to meet with your counselor to make a plan or to get your dismissal stickers. Speaking of stickers, if you are an 11th and 12th or 12th grader and you have permission from your parents, you can pick up your off-campus lunch sticker up by the EPAC at lunch today from Ms. Rodriguez. Uh, that sticker has to be on your ID. You have to have your ID. All students should have their student ID with them at all times. Um, the last announcement I want to talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow is our late start Thursday. Classes will start at 9.15 a.m. So adjust your times accordingly. Most students were uh, here plenty of time today to get to class on time. Make sure your parents are doing their iPass certification each and every morning uh, so that you can come through the lines very smoothly. But tomorrow starts at 9.15. It's our only late start that we have each week. Uh, classes tomorrow are 68 minutes rather than 88 minutes. And after period one, you're gonna be going to your homeroom. Uh, it says, it shows period nine on your schedule. That is your homeroom. It only happens once per week on Thursdays after period one. So make sure you can uh, see that on your schedule, know where you're going. All the homerooms are grouped by grade level. So all ninth graders will be with ninth graders, 10th with 10th, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, for many students, it'll be a study hall and we will get up our writing center and math center and other tutorials during a uh, homeroom. But for our ninth and 10th graders, there will be uh, opportunities each month to do student mentoring with our Charger Connection student mentors. You will be meeting them soon. Uh, all our ninth graders can expect their new DP uh, t-shirts that you'll be getting in homeroom either this week or next, well, actually probably next week. Uh, so you can wear it at the first uh, game. It's those gold uh, charger t-shirts. Uh, if you are a 10th grader who didn't get yours last year, let us know. Um, and uh, let's see. So you'll find out more about homeroom tomorrow. Again, it only happens each Thursday. Uh, we know we're having some issues with Wi-Fi around campus and also the Bell PA system is not working as uh wonderfully as we'd like it to do. Um, so we are working on fixing those things and so we can have a smoother start to the year. Uh, we have shifted our back to school night for your parents to September 8th. We'll be sending out messaging to them. And finally end with a shout out to our girls volleyball team who started the year strong with a 3-0 sweep over Oaks Christian. Uh, it was great to see students back in the gym cheering them on. All students are invited to all the, the athletic events throughout the year. You can find the schedule on our website. Um, and so we'll be looking forward to seeing you at the games uh, and uh, seeing you at all the other school events coming forward. So we'll do some more updates tomorrow during period two. Have a great day and uh, have a great lunch. And we'll see you when we see you. Go DP. Well, that's all for today's quick updates. So make sure to stay tuned on Monday for the first episode of DP News. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.